Hi, my name is Heather Richardson and I'm from Safety Harbor Art and Music Center and I am a mosaic artist. Heather is a prominent and active member in the Safety Harbor Art and Music Center Collective, also lovingly known as Sham C. She teaches many different groups of people whose ages range from five years old to 80 and up. Heather will be your guide on this exciting journey of making your first piece of mosaic art. Today we're going to talk about making a really simple basic mosaic. Uh, we're going to use a piece of hardy backer board, which is what, this is our substrate. Um, other things that you can use for a substrate would be wood or a concrete block. Um, but what we're going to use today is this um, Hardy backer board, which you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. Materials and tools to use for your project today. We have all different kinds of ceramic tile, broken or not broken. You're going to break it, so if a tile is broken, even better. Um, mirror, which has actually been cut uh, from a broken mirror. Handmade tiles, I made these myself. Not everybody might be able to do that, but it's fun to have them if you can. Little glass gems that you can buy at like Home Depot or Lowe's. These are just other kinds of uh, tiles that you can get um, that come in sheets at your local tile store. Uh, funny little things like this I got at Michael's. It was on sale for like a dollar. It's made of uh, plaster or ceramic. It's, it's heavy duty, so you can use something like that. Um, people also use things like Scrabble letters. Uh, plastic letters really depends if you're going to have your piece inside or outside if it's going to be an outside piece um, if you use a Scrabble letter or a plastic letter it may deteriorate over time so that's just something to think about when you're doing it um, but for the purposes of today we're just going to basically show you basic technique and gluing uh, process and grouting process just so you can have a basic understanding of mosaics. You're not going to be doing like the Sistine Chapel or anything. This is a simple, basic process that we're going to learn today. Up next, learn about the tips and tools you will need to create your mosaic. 